Creating a new data inside a MongoDB database using this post user controller is easy. Now let's take a look at how we can update this user using a put request of HTTP. So right down here, I'm going to put this command and specify here put request. We need to specify this HTTP URL and we also need to call here an ID. For example, if we want to update the first user, we specify the ID of that user. So I'm going to specify that ID here with the URL. So let's create this update controller. So we need to first say here, export a sync function and the function name is put user. And we need to pass request and response parameter with this function. And then we need to add try and catch block. And inside this catch, right down here, I'm going to say response.status, which is going to be 404. And then I'm going to say dot JSON. And inside an object, we pass error. And inside this error, I'm going to say error while updating the data. And inside this try, what we need to do is we need to get the updated data as well as the user ID. So let's first get the user ID. So to get the value from the URL, you need to call request.query. Using this query object, you get the URL ID. So we need to say here constant in the object, I'm going to destructure a value user ID. When we make a put request, I'm going to pass this user ID value inside this URL. Just out of that, right down here, we need to get the user data as well. So I'm going to simply see here constant form data is equal to request dot body. Just down here, I'm going to say if we have user ID and we have form data, if we have both these variables and if we have values inside both these variables, then I'm going to say await users the schema and then I'm going to call here dot find by ID and update. I'm going to find the object and update that with its ID. So we need to pass here user ID as a first argument. So this will just find this object with the user ID and update that with the form data. So as a second argument, we pass the form data, this variable. Just out of that, right down here, I'm going to say response.status, which is going to be 200. And in the JSON, I'm going to return the form data the updated data as a response. And if this if statement won't execute, then I'm going to say here response.status 404.json and inside an object we specify error user not selected. Or you can specify your own error here. That's upon you. Now let me save these changes. So I'm going to open the Postman API testing tool and you can see inside my database, I'm going to have two objects. Now let me update this second object, this one. So we need to copy this ID and open the update user and we need to make a put request. So we select the put HTTP request. Then we need to pass value to this user ID. So we pass here an ID. So we copy this second ID and then pass that right here. Just out of that, I'm going to select the body, select the raw data. And inside this, I'm going to specify the updated data. So we need to first select the JSON format, then specify the object with the updated values. And if you back to the get user, then you can see we have the salary 21,000. But when I make a put request and update the data, I'm going to change the name, avatar, email and salary. When I click on the send button, you can see I'm going to get an error message. This is because we need to specify a value to this user ID. Instead of just passing this value right here, let me get rid of this ID right from here. And then I'm going to specify here user ID. And then we pass this ID here, something like this, a send request. I'm going to get a response from my endpoint. So if you're back to the index.js, you can see this is a response from this put request. Now let me get rid of this and pass the put request controller here. So I'm going to say here put user call this function. So I'm going to copy this and specify that right here with request and response parameter. Let me save these changes back to the Postman API testing tool and click on the send button again. When I click on it, you can see I'm going to get the response back from the Postman API testing tool. So this data is now updated. If I back to the get users, click on the send button, you can see now the data is updated. Now, if you want to get the data from this function, then you can do that as well. So if I say here constant user is equal to and then I'm going to pass this user to this form data. Save this file 
back to the project and instead of 12,000 right now I'm gonna say here 11,000 when I make a send request you can see I'm gonna get the complete ID means the complete record as a response from this controller now once you understand how we can update the data of the MongoDB database let me show you how we can delete the user